Castrignano del Capo is the most southern municipality of Puglia and belongs to the Union of Municipalities of Terra di Leuca. Rich of enchanting landscape charm and precious historical artistic testimonies, the territory of Castrignano extends between the Serra di Vereto and Santa Maria di Leuca. The communities of Salignano and Giuliano di Lecce belong to Castrignano. They are historical villages in which the typical Greek hospitality still echoes and where you can breathe the genuine atmosphere of the authenticity and the welcoming of Salento. The sea of Castrignano is dominated by the ageless beauty of the coast of Leuca, a place characterized by the scenic forms of the Meliso headland and the physiognomy of the mighty Pontifica Basilica of Santa Maria de Fini Bustere, among the most representative places of Marian devotion all over Europe. The countryside of Castrignano preserves the legacy of peasant civilization manifested in the ancient dry stone walls that mark the vast olive groves and the numerous farmlands still cured and cultivated with care. The historic center of Castrignano del Capo shows off its historic buildings, represented in Piazza Sant'Angelo by the Church of San Michael, rebuilt in the mid-18th century on the previous parish church. The interior is dominated by large architectural spaces marked by side altars, works full of stucco and vivid decorations. The wooden statue of the patron St. Michael the Archangel, made in 1707 by Nicola Fumo, a significant sculptor of the Neapolitan Baroque, is worthy of note. Castrignano is attested in documentary sources as early as 1265. The ancient settlement extends in the district of Borgoterra, whose plant still retains a checkboard geometric pattern. The old district is accessed from San Nicola Square, an open space on which there is Porta Terra, the main gate of the old village. The entrance is part of Fersini Palace, built on the walls of the ancient feudal castle. Modified into a noble residence in the late 18th century, the fortress has protected the town of Catrignano for centuries and its presence is already attested from the medieval period. Among the streets of the small Borgo Terra, there is a casket of traditional architecture of Salento, so it is easy to find out finely embroidered 16th century buildings, elegant expressions of the ancient society of Castrignano. The historic center of Castrignano still reveals its archaic beauties to visitors today. Urban compositions that show that main historical developments of the town, while the monuments carved in stone still today narrate the popular religious devotion and the community identity which is still alive. Leucos, the white. Thus, Leuca had to appear to the ancient sailors who saw its unmistakable features as they crossed the entrance of Otranto's channel. Belonging to the territory of Castrignano del Capo, Santa Maria di Leuca is one of the most beautiful seaside resorts of our peninsula, as well as the southernmost point of Puglia, the extreme point of the Italian hill. Luca's religious vocation has already manifested throughout thousands of years. In particular, near the ravens of the Porcinara cave stood an ancient sanctuary dedicated to Zeus Bathos. 
Here, sailors sailing towards the Adriatic and the Aegean left their offerings and their votive inscriptions over the centuries to ingratiate themselves with gods and fate. But it is during Christianity that Leoka assumes a representative role of the Marian devotion of the people of southern Salento, becoming over the centuries a pilgrimage destination and recalling at the bottom of the altar of Santa Maria de Finibusterre thousands of pilgrims from all over the West. To protect the sanctuary from enemy raids from the sea, the bishops of Alessano strengthened its structure, making it strategically protected. Inside the basilica you can still admire the precious Venetian canvas depicting the Virgin with the Child, which have seen illustrious pilgrims over the centuries, including Pope Benedict XVI, who arrived in Santa Maria di Leuca in June 2008. Facing the building stands the lighthouse of the Italian Navy, reason opposite the remains of the ancient warning tower of Philip II. Activated in 1866, it is over 40 meters tall and dominates the entire promontory of Melizo from its privileged elevated position to 102 meters from the waters of the Ionian. From here, you can enjoy the enchanting Bay of Lioca, protected by the two promontories of Melizo and Ristola. The marina, with its numerous boats, faces Lungomare Cristoforo Colombo and gives the overall view of the town a distinctive feature of rare beauty, hardly negligible in the eyes of visitors. Numerous villas built between the 19th and 20th century, according to the customs of eclectic taste, characterize the landscape of Leuca. Built by the aristocracy and the establishment of Salento as a residence of four summer holidays, the villas are full of exotic charm and recall different architectural tastes designed by leading architects such as Achille Rossi, Giuseppe Ruggeri and Carlo Luigi Arditi of Castelvetere. In the territory of Leuca there are more than 40 historic villas they are examples of unique styles that embellish the pleasant coastal landscape. The parish church of Cristo Rey is fully combined with the urban eclecticism of Leuca. Designed by the famous engineer Pasquale Ruggeri, the church of Cristo Rey recalls in its forms the medieval architectural revival of the late 19th century. The interior spaces are solemn, marked by an imposing system of pillars. The stained glass windows are well integrated to the monumental context, bearing the heraldic coats of arms of the noble families of Leuca. A thousand year history that of Leuca, representative place of the extreme southern cape of Salento. From the Diapigio promontory, you can fully admire the ancient charm of this last strip of land, stretched out with an infinite gaze between the Ionian and the Adriatic. Protected inland from the Capo di Leuca, Giuliano di Lecce is a hamlet of the municipality of Castrignano del Capo. The community of Giuliano has ancient origins, as evidenced by the megalithic presences represented by the physiognomy of the menhir Mensi, located in Via Regina Elena. The historic center of Giuliano preserves its original beauty, and the urban layout is marked by its entrance by an ancient city gate, 
positioned in excess with the main street that runs through the village. Walking through the streets, you can come across the 17th century balcony of the Znees, where cute faces peek out from the carvings of an elegant balcony. The feudal castle of medieval construction and enhanced by the presence of the powerful quadrangular towers positioned on the sides of the structure characterizes the inhabited area. The building still preserves a part of the moat, while the main facade is decorated with a sober 18th century loggia, the result of the many structural interventions made over the centuries. Elegant is the master church dedicated to the Byzantine patron Saint Giovanni Crisostomo. The building dates back to the 16th century, but it has undergone several renovations. There is a strong reference to a neoclassical taste which stands out on the front elevation. The architectural changes were made during the last years of the 19th century and during those building circumstances there was also the completion of the Bell Tower located in the apse area of the building. The Byzantine heritage of this ancient land is evident in the remains of the Church of San Pietro positioned towards the village's countryside, among the most ancient religious monuments of the diocese of Ugento, Santa Maria di Leuca. Giuliano is a lovely village, rich in history and architectural beauties. Its past still echoes in its delicious forms, and its sober and well-kept spaces, a living legacy of that simplicity typical of the social tradition of southern Salento. The hamlet of Salignano, thanks to the demographic growth of the 20th century, has merged into the urban structure of the town of Castrignano del Capo. The 16th century tower dominates the village, the result of military engineering typical of the realm of Emperor Charles V of Habsburg. Built on a circular plan, on its imposing perimeter, the gunboats open up, while a defensive system characterized by the presence of ten reinforced piers crowns the whole structure. The tower has recently been restored and has gained a vocation of cultural container used for the community meetings and educational workshops. The village of Salignano branches off around the Master Church, dedicated to St. Andrew and rebuilt between the 18th and 19th centuries on the site of the ancient parish church. Salignano countryside brings back to life the exquisite beauty of the rural culture of Capo di Leuca, verdant and luxurious in the endless oblique groves that extend throughout the surrounding territory. Easily reachable by bike or trekking routes, worthy of attention is the 17th century church of the Madonna delle Rascie, located along the road that leads from the village of San Ignano to the Basilica of Santa Maria de Finibus Terre. Built in the 70s of the 17th century, the church stands on an ancient rural settlement that Tasselli identifies with the name of Crimino. Behind the building, in fact, you can see different burials of the Middle Ages, as well as typical buildings of rapestrian civilization. Walking through the holy groves and dry stone walls, you will find the Church of San Giuseppe, built in 1630.
The building, together with the Madonna delle Rocie for centuries, represented a place of passage for pilgrims who moved from the Salento inland to the sanctuary of Santa Maria de Finibusterre. Enchanting is the panorama that can be enjoyed from the terraces of Salignano with its ancient olive trees, which slowly degrade towards the impetuous blue of the Ionian. Silent and weary, the Tower of the Dead Man, or of the Dead Men, overlooks the Bay of Leuca. It is a distant testimony of the warning system of the coastal towers of Terra do Tranto, wanted by the Emperor Charles V of Habsburg, in order to defend the Salento coasts from enemies coming from the sea. The tower communicated in the past with the Torre Marcello along the northwest axis of the coast and with the tower of Philip II, positioned on the Melise. The coastal territory of Castrignano del Capo preserves very ancient testimonies of human presence. Many artifacts recovered at Punta Ristola during the excavations promoted by the Institute of Archaeology of the University of Lecce date back to the Bronze Age. In this area, there must have been a settlement linked to the small agricultural pastoral economy, as evidenced by various fragments of ceramics and bones of farmed animals. The passage of man in antiquity was facilitated by the presence in the territory of numerous ravines and natural cavities, nowadays mostly found along the Liogan coast. The marine cave system extends from the Capo di Santa Maria di Leuca up to the Chardo locality in the direction of the Marina of San Gregorio. Some caves have preserved very important paleontological traces like remains of animals belonging to warm climates including the elephant and the rhinoceros. The coastal system offers a unique beauty of its kind characterized above all by the traditional toponymy of the caves, names coined by the ancient fishermen of the place to recall the forms and recurring features, such as the cave of the three doors, that of the giants and that of the devil. Even the hinterland preserves important traces of the ancient human presence in the territory of Leuca. Examples are the caves placed along the sides of the Canaloni that cross the territory from the coast in a northerly direction. There are more than 43 recorded caves, impervious environments to be reached and used as settlements and safety shelters when the coast became insecure due to frequent attacks from the sea. Nestled within the Costa Otranto Regional Natural Park Santa Maria di Leuca and Bosco di Tricase, the coastline of Leuca contains a magnificent scenic beauty, a must for all visitors to Salento. Walking along the boardwalk, you can see the lovely shades of the promontory of Melisa, covered by a thick embroidery of Mediterranean vegetation and crossed by the monumental waterfall, a walk that celebrates the end of the long water network of the Apulian aqueduct. Leucas One is an ancient history, a story that still today attracts thousands of visitors and tourists. Unique places to immerse yourself in the discovery of a spontaneous Salento, caressed by the breeze of the Ionian and enchanted by the picturesque landscapes which here, on the coasts of Leuca, 
are off the charts.